When I was first starting out in Blender, lighting was probably my least favorite thing to do in the entire program. I remember feeling somewhat knowledgeable about things like color and composition, but I really struggled with how I could apply that knowledge to the lighting in my scenes. Luckily, one thing I've learned over the years is that you do not need a super involved lighting setup to get great results in Blender. In fact, with a little knowledge, you can easily create your own lighting systems that maximize creativity with very minimal setup. A great example is this scene here where I applied a gradient to some area lights and then scaled them down to resemble light strips. All I had to do was set up the light one time and then I could easily go around my scene, copy and pasting, adjusting the scale, swapping out colors and experimenting until I got just the look that I wanted. So to create one of these gradient lights, the first thing we'll do is add a new area light to the scene. And when we do, you'll see the light comes in as a square pointing down towards the ground. So I'll go ahead and reposition the light so it's facing directly at this back wall here. All right, so normally if I was going to transform the scale of this light, I would just do that in my 3D viewport and manually scale the light by hitting S and then either X, Y, or Z on the keyboard to scale in a certain direction. For this method though, I'm going to rescale the light in a somewhat unusual way, but it's gonna make things way easier for us later on. I'll go to the Object Data Properties tab here and where it says Shape, I'll go ahead and change it from the default square shape to a rectangle. And once I do that, I'll be able to adjust the scale here in this tab. And I'll go for something like four meters for the X value and 0 0.05 meters for the Y value. Excellent, now we have an area light that is roughly the shape that we want. I can now go into my shading workspace. And if I make sure the box that says use nodes is ticked, I should see this node set up here. I'll zoom out a bit and to apply the gradient effect to this light, I only have to add three nodes. And if I hit shift A, that will allow me to search for nodes. So I'll go ahead and bring in a color ramp node, a mapping node, and then last but not least, a geometry node. And I'll go ahead and hook up the nodes just like you see here. Okay, so now that we have our nodes set up, I'm going to increase the emission strength to three just so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. And then next I'll add another color to my color ramp node and I'm gonna adjust these colors because grayscale is not gonna do us much good here. If I zoom out here, you can see the effect is kind of working, but the light is only projecting about the first half of my color ramp node, which is kind of a problem. To correct this though, all we have to do is make the scale information in our mapping node match up with the scale information of our area light. So now you can see why I initially decided to scale the area light in this tab here, because it allows us to match up these values super quick and easy. I'll change the X value from one to four, and then the Y value from one to 0 0.05. And just like that, we now have an area light projecting a gradient and the output of our light corresponds perfectly with this color ramp node here. Oh, it's beautiful. Once you have the light set up with corresponding scale, you can then select it in the 3D viewport and scale it up or down and the gradient won't be affected. If you scale the light up or move it farther away from the wall, you might wanna increase the emission strength. And also if you wanna reshape the light to make it longer, for example, you can do that but just remember to change the X and Y values in the Object Data Properties tab on the right and also in your mapping node here. It's really important that these values match up. So really quick, I did wanna point out that in addition to the area lights in my scene, I am using an HDRI as well, but I have it set really low. You can see here the strength is 0 0.1. This way the HDRI basically acts as a fill light in my scene and it adds some great balance to the image, especially in the shadows and the highlights. There you have it folks. I hope today's video inspired you to rethink how you approach lighting in Blender. 
With just a little time and creativity, us Blender users can develop our own lighting systems that eliminate guesswork and deliver excellent results time and time again. To see more videos like this one in the future, please consider liking and subscribing. The project files for my tutorials are available for download over on Patreon if you're interested in that. I really appreciate the support. And lastly, if there's something you'd like to see me cover on this channel, comment below and let me know. I'd love to hear from you if you're watching. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.